Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to some more of my Let's Play of Dragon's Crown on the Sony PlayStation Vita. So, the video- oh shit! <laughs> Sorry guys! <laughs> the video that I uploaded before this one has been sat on my computer for ages. I didn't even realise I had one filmed before this, so I apologise for that, but there you go, at least you've had two Dragon's Crown episodes in one go. Um, so the plan is on this video for me to defeat the Red Dragon and get the final talisman that I need. You can see an empty slot there. And also, fingers crossed, to play with a friend online. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can play together. I'm not too sure what version of the game he has, but anyway, let's get going. I've been a complete and utter idiot when it comes to the red dragon. I've been um, switching from the first room that you find it in, thinking you need to kill it before it falls off the bridge. I didn't use my logic and realised that actually you don't even need to leave the room, why not just stay in here and kill it in it here? So that's what the plan is anyway. I just can't believe that I was being such These an idiot. Are the ruins of the ancient capital city. It was destroyed following an invasion from the Northern Empire. Now it is a dangerous place, full of dragons and wyverns. So if you guys haven't bought this game yet, it has just come out actually recently, well not just but you know recently, on the UK PSN so I suggest picking it up because it is a really great game. So you may notice that there's a red, um, almost like arrow at the bottom of the screen. I've switched this on. Um, it's meant to help you when the screen's chaotic and you're playing online to know where your character is. So that's why I've turned it on really. So if I ever get confused I can just look at the bottom of the screen and locate that red little arrow. I've not played this in a while, so uh, I'm going to be a bit rusty. I probably should have done like a little training video um, first, like leveling up video to get used to the controls again, but why can't I move forward? Oh, there we go. There's one bloody scorpion, that's why. Um, but the last video that I forgot to upload is nothing but me just messing about training, so... Hmm? Tomet is surprised by the sudden nature of your visit, but relaxes. He demands coin in exchange for his help. The red dragons nest in the ruins, sleeping amongst mountains of treasure. You ask the thief for more details. Which path will you take? Well, we're going to take the path to the red dragon. The area reeks of sulfur, and earth-shaking snoring reverberates throughout. When you're ready, move forth. The red dragon is nigh. Got some frame issues then. Oh, yes. Voila. It wasn't the game though, this is the thing. I need to switch between looking at the Vita screen and looking at the uh, laptop screen because it's hard to tell where the frames are coming from otherwise. See this is where I'm supposed to stay but it's hard because it's enclosed. Oh 
god, everybody's dying. Trying to be careful here, but you know. Oh shit! This is a tough fight, I tell you now. I need arrows! Okay, I've lost a life now. Oh, come on, that is not fair. Oh shit! No! Did you see that rock, man? Just plonked me on the head. No, 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 let me go. Okay, I'm dead. I might be able to survive one more time and kill it though. This should give me the talisman. Give me the talisman! You have defeated the red dragon. Yay, purple talisman. The strongest creature known to man. I'm so happy! Your name will <laughs> respect for all I can't time. believe how much of an idiot I Bear was though, thinking I had to leave this room. Sexy. You obtained the purple talisman. Yes, trophy. Give it me now. Well, that can go because that just looks shit. Oh, we can appraise this. Stun chance plus 14%, bonus 11% as fire damage. Ah. You know, I think I forgot to pray before this. I could have prayed and got you one more the life, but that Lucane mentioned. These secret runes will open the gate to the illusionary lands. Let's go to Lucane's tower and just refresh our memory. Did you see this rune somewhere? Lucane says that the gate at the outskirts of town may have something to do with this rune. How can I help you? Okay guys, well, I think I'll stop this episode here and on the next episode we'll go looking for that ruin and hopefully we can unlock the gateway and move forward. So you have been watching Gadget Girl Kylie and this has been my Let's Play of Dragon's Crown on the Sony PlayStation Vita. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you next time guys.